Letitia Battle says her ex-boyfriend came into her bedroom in the middle of the night and tried to kill her while she was asleep. Her physical wounds have healed, but the emotional wounds still plague her and her family every day. That night, August 30th, it was my birthday. Letitia Battle and her youngest daughter, Alicia, fell asleep watching movies in bed after a fun birthday celebration at their home in Highland Park. I blanked out. I can tell you how it happened. I do not remember at all. Letitia had no idea she would wake up looking like this. Somewhat broken half. I had stitches, broken nose, blind in one eye. On the right side was almost paralyzed. With her daughter by her side, Letitia says her then boyfriend of three years, Deron Davis, came into her room on a mission to kill. My mama, she had bruises on her face and she had blood all on her face. It's been three years, but the trauma is still fresh for this family as Deron Davis remains a fugitive. You can't let go because it's, you remember seeing your face and your face is not the way it was. And you look at that scar every day. Every day, she says she relives that attack. I was literally scared of my room because that incident happened in my room. So it was like a crime scene all over again. So it was pretty hard. You know, you had to go upstairs and imagine that he's still standing there at the top of the stairs. Elisha, 10 at the time of the attack, now 13, was left to clean up the blood. Her innocence stolen, unable to sleep without fear. But sometimes when I go to sleep in the middle of the night, I don't, I have dreams like, it feels like I have dreams that he came back and he did it again and again and again. And I'll wake up and go to my mom and room. And Davis hasn't stopped, leaving text messages and voicemails from random phone numbers telling Letitia he's coming back to kill her, harm her daughters, and burn their house down. The threats was horrible. Um, the incident happened. I got threats that he was going to do it again. He can repeat it. He was going to do worse. That's why Deron Davis is at the top of the U.S. Marshals Most Wanted list. He's from Detroit. We believe he's still local in the area. Um, he's still in this area right here. We believe he's probably going to be on the west side of Detroit. Deron Davis is 5'8", 200 pounds, and should be considered armed and dangerous. He has tattoos of his kids on his arms, on his right arm, right shoulder area, of Hayden and Duran. For this family, safety and closure will not come until Davis is arrested. He ruined my life. He can ruin another female's life. Pleading with those who know where he is to turn him in. Can you please turn him in because it's not it's not right that my mom might have to go through that. So I just want I just want him to be caught. Bringing joy, safety, and peace to a family that has suffered for far too long. I keep a smile on my face and it's not, it's feel like some days it's not, I'm not supposed to smile because it hurts. Now, as always, there's a cash reward for any information leading to the arrest of Deron Davis. You can call the U.S. Marshals anytime at 313-234-5656. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News.